We'd started coming up with the idea of Grenade back in 2006, and we actually started trademarking back in 2006. So See, it doesn't listen to anything I said. You. Did you mention that yes. bit? Sorry, yeah. okay. So Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Proof. Yeah. yeah. We didn't have the budgets of the other big brands, so we drove a tank into the NEC for body power. And if anyone was interested, that taking that tank through Marble Arch was very, very tight. Yeah, it was. <laughs> We really sort of changed the face of sports nutrition in the UK, so it was very much a sort of US dominated market and I always call it like big men small pants, so it was like full of bodybuilders, you know, they're like huffy and puffy in like tiny little pants, um, whereas we decided that that wasn't for us. She's not referring to me. <laughs> so, I, I, I went into a bit too much detail there. Slightly creepy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <Stunning. Yeah. laughs> I couldn't really understand why we couldn't make a protein bar that just tasted like a chocolate bar. So we went through something like 40, 42 variants, I think it was a two year process. The other 41 versions we'd seen, I think frankly anyone else would have been happy with, but we weren't. And we actually then, we got, we got to this, this, this bar, the first one, the Caramel Chaos, um, 2015, and we tried it and we just knew. And we ordered 50,000 bars. We then had to tell our investors we were ordering 50,000 bars on the premise that if they didn't sell, we were gonna buy them personally. And I thought I'll be eating protein bars for the next 20 years. So they took about a quarter and we got the rest. I think then we sold them about an hour. And then we had no stock for six weeks. And in the, that six weeks, we pre-sold probably another 100,000, so we ordered more and then we pre-sold them. And, and basically then for the next two years, we had no stock. We got to the point where we, were pre we had pre-orders for about 10 million bars. Um, and then it's been pretty horrible in terms of letting down all the big suppliers and trying to rotate stock round and, um, and so on. We did a piece of brand work last year, which basically tried to encompass what Grenade was. And we came up with the tagline, you got this. And basically it was a really, really simple mission statement that it didn't matter what you wanted to achieve in your fitness or your life goals, Grenade would help you to do that. And then just for some fun, uh, probably what a year ago we launched the spread, the carb killer spread. So we knew that Nutella was doing quite well and was quite popular, and everyone was melting grenade carb killers and putting them on toast. So we thought we could actually maybe save them a job of putting them in the microwave and, and, and do a spread. And we look, we sold something like, and this is something again we just did to disrupt really, but 100,000 units in like a day. It's the top three sellers on Amazon outselling Nutella, which must really, really annoy them. Uh, we'd like to thank you guys, uh, Cooper Parry, so much for having us this evening. Uh, we've really enjoyed it. As you can probably tell, we never get tired of talking about the brand. I mean, it's been nine years and we're still as enthusiastic and passionate about the Grenade Band brand as we were from day one. So it's great to come and tell our story. And, and we've told the story probably a thousand times and it's the same story. We always tell it differently because we think about different things. So uh, if you want us to come back and tell it entirely differently, we're very happy. But thanks again, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you.